Hi, this is George with Fun With Flies. Today I'm going to be tying a little yellow stonefly. Uh, it's a really popular pattern, especially uh, uh, for doing uh, going after brookies up in uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains in the streams. You could fish this from uh, early spring all the way toward the end of summer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, basically I've got some yellow thread. I've got some yellow bites. A couple little white feathers and some yellow dubbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap, oh, and I've also got a number 16 dry fly hook. I'm going to wrap this right to the, right to the gap. All right, now I'm going to take a white feather Really careful. I'm going to trim it back a little. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is remove some of these hairs or fibers. Okay, I'm going to tie this feather in. Now I'm making sure the arch is down, following the hook, so when I wrap it, Fibers will go toward the back. I'm wrapping in the feather. Snipping in. Snipping off the fibers. So one of the things you always want to do when you're tying in these dry flies is remember the bodies that carrot shape. So I'm going to always try and be thicker toward the center of the fly, giving it more wraps and less wraps toward the end. Okay, so we're going to take this and I'm going to split the thread here to put this dubbing on. So I'm going to need this to untangle a little. Okay, so from here I'm going to split the thread. You can split it, or if you have a really thin thread on there, you can make a dubbing loop. Uh, taking a nice healthy amount of dubbing on here. And I'm not going to be using all this. Basically what I'm doing is wrapping it and I'm going to pull some out kind of thread it as I go. So as soon as I started getting it wrapped in here a little tight, basically I pull a little out. Okay, one wrap, 
two wraps crossing over and I'm going to cross over okay and I'm just going to tie it in I'm going to let it unwind. Okay, and while it's unwinding, I'm going to take two bites. I want two pretty close in size. So I hold them with one hand. Trim them off. Set them aside. Okay, so I'm going to take the feather, which I got about halfway down the fly. So I'm gonna wrap it in. Each turn, I'm just moving slowly toward the head. Trying to get a little thicker than I had it in the beginning part of the body. I want to avoid overlapping and once I get it about to the head I'm going to catch the fly. I'm going to catch it right there. When I've got it in place. Give, give an extra wrap here. And trim the feather off. I'm going to take this part and wet it a little bit. Pull it back wet, pull back, okay start building the head up a little bit, okay so I'm going to take those two bites now, All right, and for the two bites you want to grab them by the point and you want to separate them a little bit, not much just a little, right about like that. So what you can do is, is I grab them here, keep them nice and long, as we can trim them. I'm gonna pinch down on top and catch the head. Catch it right in at the head, do a couple nice wraps. Okay, make sure it's, have them where I want them. And if they split apart, it's okay. So here we're going to trim it back. And then we're going to just tie it in. Using this to build up the head. Trim it off right here. Now for the feathers, for the wing right here. Kind of notch it. And we notched it right there. Okay, a little head cement. And what I like to do is put a little on the wing, just where it catches the thread. Just make it a little more durable. Okay, and that's it. So what you have here is it's a number 16. Number 16, uh, small stonefly. It's done in yellow. 